wasn't freaking now. Oh my God, is you live? Is you live, Horv? Horv, are you live? Honey, is, first of all, is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? <laughs> What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grindr, Squiff, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches, Christian Mingle, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always, and forever, in color, from the marvelous chateau, and we are here on the after show. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Look, uh -oh. Nephew, they right. Ooh. <laughs> We're here on the after show. Tell a friend, tell your mama and them, tell everybody, okay, bitch? What's up, Perez? What's up, Perez, bitch? Hey, Perez. Period. <laughs> Period, bitch. Period. <laughs> Period. So, listen, I know you guys watch the show. Neffy, your part different. Yeah, they, I, did, you, did you change the part? No. I know you guys watch the show. I know a lot of you guys were typing in the comment section. <laughs> bitch, y'all, let, let me tell you something, y'all. I love you back. Bitch, y'all are, are a lot of things, girl. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the call-in number, and we're going to show Neffy some love. 515-604-9300. The access code is... 982-884 and Jamel is on the line and honey you have a one minute 982-884 you have a one minute time frame girl because Jamel is going to lock that ass up honey he's going to lock that ass up okay thank you guys thank you alright now ladies and gentlemen tonight's show was sponsored by come on come over here sponsor tell us now, Nephi. Okay. You know yeah, I got to listen. I most definitely have to fix this because everybody was thinking that I did not like the grits and the oxtails. It wasn't that. I love oxtails. I just never had grits and oxtails. So, don't get it twisted. Well seasoned. Well, I mean, it's good. The grits are amazing. I just never had the two together. But guess what I got? I got my oxtails and... Peas and rice. No, these are good. It's Girl, listen. In the Caribbean, and long I, Oh, it's, it's peas. Oh, okay. Listen, I, I, I thoroughly. T.S. love the grits and the oxtail. Thoroughly. Yes. White and <laughs> so I just want to let no, no harm, no disrespect or any, any of that. Like, I love the You food. got your peas and rice. I got my peas and rice. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now tell them about your catering service, please, because okay, this is some so really good food. We're a phenomenal food catering, and we're located at 1089 Forest Parkway uh, in Forest Park, Georgia. We do primarily mostly weddings. So we do, like, Nigerian weddings, LGBT weddings. We do everybody else's weddings. I mean, we just do a lot, a lot of weddings, two, three weddings a weekend. So we're just like a factory. Well, listen, you must have came over here. <laughs> you must have came over here because it must be the spirit of marriage going on in here. Congratulations. <laughs> I thought it would have been me. And look, we do tastings for our wedding. So before you even like pay any money or anything, you come into the studio, you sit down, you taste all the food that's going to be at your wedding, and um, then you can pick your food from there. And our tastings are free. Uh, oh, yes. And y'all know y'all like free. Tip. But this is the thing. We ask you not to book a tasting unless you're financially ready to make a deposit on your wedding. Hey, say it again. <laughs> unless you're financially ready to make a deposit on your wedding. But then it's really not that free. Well, <laughs> it's got some stipulations. It's not that free, so stop. <laughs> now, <laughs> Nephi, tonight you said lots of things on the show. I did. That the fans... Turn that fan on. Yes, Please, baby. Mm -hmm. Tonight you said things on the show that the fans took in, in a way that they were in the comment section. Did you see it? They were in the comment section and they felt like that you threw your sister under the bus. I did not. Is, would you like to clear that up as well? Well, I mean, sure. I can. Um, you know, out of respect. Here's my thing. I was simply saying that there is a respect factor on anybody's level. You know, when you're in the entertainment business, you cannot discredit what one is doing. 
And you definitely cannot discredit what one is doing when you're not even in that realm of what they're doing. That's all I was saying. I'm not saying that, you know, Keisha is no different than um, Beyonce or Beyonce is no different than Keisha. All I'm saying is Keisha has her own lane. Beyonce has hers. Stay in your lane and everybody will be okay. When you hop out of other people's lane with no blinker, that's when you get a, 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 a chain reaction. That's when you get problems. Like, I'm not discrediting my sister on no level. Like, I love everything um, that she's doing. I love everything that B is doing. Like, these are two amazing women that are in this entertainment world that needs not to... And, of course, you know, um, I just think my sister was simply saying, you know, how can you say this when you're sa when you're doing this? But you can't say that if you're not in that realm of what she's doing. That's all I was saying. And it's just that everybody needs to stay in their, stay in their lane. Like, you don't, it's no, no harm, no shade, no foul, no discredit. It's just, you know, a respect level. It's just real true facts. It's like me saying, uh, oh, well, you know, Candy Boris, and I'm not even on her level. Like, who says that? Now, you have the right to read who you want to read now. You do. But you got to be able to walk what you're talking. Mm. Face the consequences. Yeah. But Keisha got sick in the head too, girl. True. No, she got a lot of hits. She got mm -hmm. hits, bitch. We're mm -hmm. not going to sit up here and act like that. She got a lot of hits. And I love, I, bitch, Keisha Cole has got me through many, a uh, many times. And she's Boy. still getting me through. But what I'm saying, all I'm saying is, is let's respect each other. As entertainers, as women, as people, let's not discredit each other on no level. But that's, Neither here nor there. At the end of the day, I love my sister. And I love everything that she's doing. Just like I love B and everything that she's doing. And I, uh, Beehive, don't come for me because I'm not even... Oh, I'm not even dealing with that. Okay? <laughs> Can't see the diamonds. Don't come for me because I'm not dealing with that neither. All I'm saying is, let's respect people as people. That's all. And if you didn't read, if you got to read between them lines, that means you want drama. That means you want problems. That means you want issues. That means you want a good read. That's not a good read. Those are just facts. All right. Now that this has been stated, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the phone lines, and we're going to let you, the fans, talk to us about the show. Please try to be respectful. Respectful. Because Jamel will crash test dummy you <laughs> on the line and feel nothing about it. Crash test dummy. <laughs> he will brick wall you, darling, and feel nothing about it. Yeah, can y'all ease up on me, man? Listen, let me tell you something. Just because I speak my opinion and how I feel, that does not mean that I'm bashing anybody. I have the right and the freedom of speech to speak how I feel. And for some reason... Y'all feel like I can't talk. <laughs> well, I feel like they feel that way because it's your sister. Yeah, but do you have some? Do you, do you do you feel some way about your sister sometimes? My brothers, <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, do you feel some way about your family mm -hmm. sometimes? Mm -hmm. Okay, do y'all get in? Do y'all feel some way about your siblings sometimes? Yes. Let me explain something to you. What I am tired of, you guys are not gonna constantly say to me or none of my siblings, that we are not united because we are. We just have sibling issues like everybody else. And I'm not afraid to say that. A lot of y'all are afraid to deal with that or say that, and I'm not. All I'm saying is, and, and now I'm being called a hater. How am I? No, don't, how? no, listen. Don't get into these comments with that because these comments will drive how? you insane. Sister, they will drive how? you insane because they, 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 I fell into the, the, the comment section and, and read one week. You know, well, I bitch, I did it because I wanted the motherfucking read, bitch. Girl, you went in that night. I sure did, bitch. Bitch, but it's a new day. And 
We not gonna make this whole entire after show and live about me and Keisha. Cause that's not why I'm here. That's right. All right, because we talked about lots of things. We did. Yeah, we like y'all need to erase, escape, jump off a cliff, go boating, or go swimming, <laughs> ice skate. We talked whatever. about Iyanya, Iyanya, <laughs> Anaya. I love Iyanya. Oh, I do too. I love but Anaya. That's not, but that's you didn't like her calling you a nasty vow, gutter snipe, but or that's a bitch. That's not what she called. She that she did that last season. Well, what she called you this season? She called you a bitch, didn't it? No, this season. <laughs> She told me I cannot help you. Sometimes we go to get our coin and we go home. <laughs> Period. <Yeah>. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Phone lines are open, all right? Uh, five one oh shit. Five one five six oh four ninety three hundred X is code nine eight two ooh ninety two eight eight four. Y'all over there rubbing each other, Craig. Cut the goddamn shit out. There's too much gay stuff going on in here. I got to cleanse my house. We don't even know homosexual. Got to get that homosexual spirit out of here. All right. Open up the lines. Do we have any people on the lines, Jamel? <laughs> Is there anyone on the line? Yeah. Let's let it let it rip. Oh Lord. It hasn't even aired, child, and I smell a lawsuit. Like, a lawsuit from what? All right. Huh. On uh, 1343, it's the Queen Supreme Court after show with Justice Madison and special guest Nephi. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's lesson? One minute. Go ahead, call it. Hello? Hello. Go ahead, call it. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> Is it my turn? Yes, baby. Yes, it is. One minute. Hi, Madison. Hi, baby. I think you're so pretty. I called last week, and I just have to always tell you that when I call. Give me some sugar. Like, <laughs> I had to give you some sugar. You don't look at them boogers in my nose, girl. I had to give you some sugar, though. You know, we've been down there sniffing glue, girl. You know, I got, <laughs> got caught in my nose. Thank you, but I have a question. I have a question. You're not streaming the after show on YouTube? No, no. I'm streaming just on Instagram. I'll post it back. I'll post it up later. Oh, okay. Um, first, I, want, I wanted to say that um, I'm sending good health and prayers to your mom, Miss Mary. I just want to make sure she's doing okay. Thank you, Mama. Thank you very much. We need that. And, um... I wanted to talk about the no will thing. Okay. I think it's very uneducated for someone to not have a will. No disrespect to Teresa, but I think that it's very, very, very important. Girl, for 80 million. To have a will, especially if you have something to leave behind. Girl, $80 million, girl. $80 million. Yeah. Well. Yeah, and when you leave no will, you leave. Um, opportunity for chaos and fighting. Chaos, fighting, and the state to get your money. Why the hell would you let this? <laughs> yeah. Why would you let the state get monies that you done sung and your throat out, girl? Your whole throat done came out, girl. <laughs> and you got this stuff up in the air. Oh my god! I am really upset with Rethas. I'm really upset with yeah, Rethas. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't mean to over talk you, baby. No, I can't see you because I'm, I'm on YouTube. So I'm just going with the flow. So go ahead. Oh, I'm upset with Rethas for that. Like, girl, you you made you made money in, uh, during a time when the children, honey, were trying to figure out how to rub two dollars together, girl. And you saw a chain, chain, chain of fools, honey, girl. And Miss Thing, you left these people to battle over your stuff, girl. You done went on laid down. But and this is why I'm not believing that she that she sat down with her niece. And said, girl, she wanted Patty to sing at her funeral. <laughs> girl, you didn't even sit I down agree. with your lawyer. To get I your agree. will together. You did not get I you agree. didn't sit with, with nobody talking about Patty come sing. <laughs> <laughs> no, and she probably didn't. I mean, but at the end of the day, if she didn't want no will, she didn't want no will. Like you can't make that up. Sister, you have to have a but will when you. That's uneducated, 
It is, sister. You so you saying that she made an uneducated decision not to have a will? Yes. And the reason 100%. why? Okay. And why? And please, please, please tell me <laughs> why you feel like that her decision was uneducated. Because a lot of people don't go to school to to to, to put a will out. Because when you're worth that amount of money and you're taking care of multiple people from all different angles of your life, you need to make sure that everything is in order. Okay, because well. Because even though you even though you might be gone, there's people still living, and it's very important to make sure that the people you care about and you love and that you take care of during your lifetime are still taken care of. Okay, so did it ever did it ever occur to anybody that? She may have left them assets and she may have left them money in bank accounts that don't nobody know about. But sister, they can't get it because ain't That's nobody. What will is for. They can't no, get no, it. no. Did it ever occur to anybody in this room that she went to them and said, okay, I know my health condition. I know what's going on with me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this in your bank account, this in your bank account, this in your bank account. That in your bank account, you gonna get this, you gonna get that. I'm not leaving no will because y'all already got what I said I'm gonna give, and it's not for the public. You don't know what's going on behind closed doors. You don't know what kind of family meetings they had. <laughs> but sister, yeah. but it's still, but it's eighty million dollars that's up. Hey, right. well, that, 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 that's unaccounted <laughs> for. It's up. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's eighty. It's eighty million. Rita's had an eighty million dollar fortune. Yeah, but that does not mean that she didn't have a family meeting with this with her family and say, "This is what I'm gonna give to y'all," and I'm not writing no will. This is what y'all gonna get, and that's, that's gonna be it. The will. But but but, but sister, they can't get it. Without but the they can't. But this is the thing. If <laughs> if if she told Uncle, okay. if she told <laughs> Uncle Joe, Uncle Joe, I'm gonna leave you sixty three dollars. And, and give him the sixty three dollars. And she that you told, need. and she told cousin Fred, "I'm gonna leave you ten million. Uncle Joe, give him that ten million but, and leave." But Uncle Joe can walk up there and say, "Bitch, she told me she was leaving me ten million and you sixty three dollars." You don't nobody know the behind the scenes. Y'all just going off of what these people are saying. But if it's not written down, it can't be done. If it's not written. Nephi is talking as if they gave the she gave the money. No, I think you take it from an angle of saying that she left her family nothing. That's not what they're saying. People just saying being that she didn't delegate delegate her estate. How do you know that? Because she didn't even win. Oh, because you're going by what you're going by what the people say. Delegating her estate is a what the will is. Okay, and I understand that, but you don't know what that delegating her estate to nobody. Okay, well then you you don't know. Nobody knows what that woman said behind scenes. But it might. She might have said it. My, she might have said it. Oh, nobody knows what she did but, behind scenes. But they can't execute it. They cannot execute it without her. Here's my thing. <laughs> you don't know okay. what transpired behind scenes. What if she really got a will and y'all going off a hearsay? <laughs> <laughs> Dummies. Um, then we'll be sitting up here saying, change, change, change. Dummies. Shut up, Dummies. Like, come on, man. Y'all gotta be smarter than that. But y'all, okay, listen no, to what the no, people say. No. Well, listen I, to what well, listen. Say. I'm smart enough to know that Rita's didn't call for Patty to come sing her funeral. And she I'm did. smart enough to know <laughs> that she up. did not leave her, leave her family with nothing. Y'all be idiots and 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 I still feel like that too. I feel like she's no man. Something. Does she didn't? No, it's nothing. She, 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 she didn't. She did Yeah, it, she, she didn't leave her with nothing. She left <laughs> okay. her with eighty million dollars. But it's all the it all depends on how they gonna bust the eighty million dollars up. Okay, so were you in that courtroom? Mm -mm. No, it, it ain't been the court yet. Wow. Okay, were you in that delegation? Mm -mm. Okay, were you sitting around that family? Yes. With, with not. Nah, oh my girl, she's on the phone. He's aggressive. I like her. Listen, we like, I like, listen. Oh, you don't like my aggressive Oh, move. Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Because, <laughs> baby, <laughs> I'm not aggressive. Wait, sis, <laughs> don't fight. Sis, don't fight. I don't see you fight on TV. Don't fight. No. <laughs> I'm just 
Yeah. Sister, don't you fight me. Both sides of the tracks, though. Girl, my, my girl said she's aggressive, Maddie. Yeah. Say, Maddie. I think that possibly <coughs> she didn't <coughs> want to <coughs> give monies to people <coughs> because then they'll be mad at her. So okay. Listen. Here's the thing. We 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 in our black <laughs> families. <laughs> we in our black families <laughs> tend to think that our siblings and stuff is going to get along when we die, <laughs> and the money's just going to be in the bank. Uh, one of them siblings may have been waiting on your ass to croak to go up there and say, Oh, listen, I did a hair, I washed her clothes, I did a makeup, you motherfuckers get nothing. And if the judge agrees with that, <laughs> nobody gets nothing. And if the judge agrees with that, like you said, Ricky, mm-hmm. nobody gets anything. At least people are not mad with Arisa. Because Aretha only gave me a meal. I'm mad with Aretha because right. they cause right. She, I don't think it's about being mad with Aretha because Aretha's going to be dead gone. Rita I think gone. it's about the family being in chaos trying to fight over that. Child, Aretha's is up there singing right now. <laughs> okay, so, we'll so Aretha's is up there singing so, because a rose is still a rose. Oh, wow. So, wait Baby a minute. Girl. Oh. Next caller because, see, Prince did the same thing. No, and he didn't even, as far as I know, oh, he didn't have no children. No. Right. So, Allegedly. Allegedly. okay, well, your minute is up, baby. Oh, sister, you, you know, I <laughs> her name is Iyala. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right, my baby, I love you, girl. You is you really trying to let that be happy tonight, baby. Never said she got on her boxing gloves, she about that life. I love you, baby. <laughs> Yeah. All the zero five nine six. It's the Queen Supreme Court after showing Judge Kids Medicine and Special Gifts Medicine. What's your name? Where you calling from? What's your judgment on tonight's measure? One minute. Hey, Daddy. Hi, baby. Hey, Daddy. Hey, boo. Oh my God, I love you and Nessie. Hey. Hi. Hi. Did you have a good? I just want to talk about. I love this show. Thank you, baby. <laughs> and I'm calling from Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes. All right, North Carolina. Come on. That's what a big dick said. Come on. <laughs> it's a lot of dicks in Carolina. They so big, fat, I'm juicy. Donald Trump. Ooh. The Donald who? Trump. Donald Trump. Oh. Give us the oh, tea. Girl, listen. <laughs> they say somebody's over there speaking in tones and and, and, and Trump all that. They say, baby, that he was in there talking that shit, and the black people out there say he done shot that about shot that tata. Girl, they. <laughs> Y'all is crazy. Y'all, this is pure, this is great entertainment at its finest. Yes. <laughs> What else did you What else did you like about the show tonight? I just want to say I love What? Yes, yeah, dreams with a Z, honey, with a Z. Dreams with a Z. Just like nuts with a Z. Oh yes, yeah. yes, baby. I just want to say I love you, honey, and I love this show, and I love everything that you do, and I'm your biggest supporter. And I thank you so much, baby, and I'll be in Carolina soon. All right, yes, and I would love to see you, honey. All right, come on out. 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 In the words of Christy McDowell, you'll come on out. All right. All right thank you, Paula. Caller 1174. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge Kiss Manson and special guest Matthew. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's measure? Go ahead, call him. <laughs> Nephew is ghetto boots, love Hello. <laughs> Hello. Boots. Yeah, ghetto boots. boots. Hello. So my question is, oh, my question is for Nephew. Oh Lord. You ain't throwing no shade towards your sister. Oh. Now maybe you already talked to your sister about this. That's what we don't know. So ask, ask, the question, ask, ask, ask the question, babe. Ask the question because. Why would you say? But the qu- why would because you? Because the question is, if you you say your sister paid your rent, she did all this shit or whatever, and you basically said your sister on Beyonce level, so 
so she had to shut the fuck up. That's not what I and said. Shit, if I was your sister, I'd be like, what the fuck? you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not, not what I said. That's not that what that I said. That's not what I said, sir. That's not what I said, kind sir. What I said was... <laughs> kind sir. Kind sir, if you will allow me to answer your question. That's not what I said. I said, my sister has helped me... Uh-uh. No, no. Ain't no alleged. I'm going to tell you what I said because I can quote myself. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you go weren't ahead. listening very well. What I said was, my sister has helped me on many of levels. I'm not discrediting her as an artist. I also uh, said you cannot discredit an artist and you're not uh, on that level to discredit an artist is what so I said. Keisha Cole is not on Beyonce's level. Keisha Cole is beyond under Beyonce. Keisha Cole can't sing like Beyonce. Of course she can't. That's not what I that's but not what I said. said that. That's not what I said. So it's just like that's a little fucked up for you to say about your No, sister. they I, I, I have a, no no that. baby. Hold on, hold on, boo boo. No, it's not. I'm gonna hold no, on. it's not. Okay, I'm gonna need well, go yeah. ahead. Go I'm gonna need you to hold on. It's not fucked up for me to say what's real, and the real true facts is respect each other as entertainers. You missing the you missing the mark. Hold on, hold on. You missing the mark though. You missing the mark. You missing the mark. But see, we're not gonna make this. Uh, yeah, but listen, we're not gonna make this a uh, uh, Keisha calling nephew thing. I said what I said. I meant what I said. Respect is respect. And let's give each other, each other respect. That's artists. That's all I said. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? And here's my thing. You guys want to call in and say, oh, well, Nephi said this about Keisha Cole. But ain't nobody calling me talking about the fuck she didn't put on, on the internet. <laughs> Call me about that. Next caller, please. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Goodbye. Call up seven seven nine one. This, we so not finna make this no. Come on, man. We not finna make this no. Right. But listen, uh, let me. Good evening, you guys. Hello. My name is Fawn. Hi, Fawn. I'm calling from Indianapolis. Hello. Hi, I just want to say, Maddie, I love you. Uh, I follow you and watch you all the time. And Nappy, I love you from day one. Thank you. Keep being you. Keep being real. And don't worry about the haters. And they go to you too, Maddie. Thank you, y'all baby. Y'all keep doing y'all. Thank you very much. And tell Miss Mary, I'm praying for her, and I hope she gets well soon. Thank and you. you ladies have a wonderful week. You too, baby. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Now, we like them callers. <laughs> Y'all need to stop uh, deciphering and trying to de dissect what was said. No, baby, don't do that. I took off running because I... Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. She... Don't do that. You heard what Sue said. She said, don't. Do that. Try everything in this world, but don't try her. Because I did not disrespect my sister on any level. Period. I just, I said what I said, which is respect each other. What's wrong with that? And we not finna make this no nephew and Kishiko thing. No, that's not what I, that's not why I'm here. All right, Jamel, you know what to do. Shit. Now, if they yeah. want to call about that, they're like, he, we know. Yeah, it. now I ain't got time okay. for that because I'm not going to discredit my sister. I'm not going to keep talking about my sister. I'm not going to let y'all disrespect my sister. And I'm not disrespecting my sister. I'm simply saying what I said out of respect as an entertainer and an artist. And if you can't read between that, then bitch, you need to go back to your books. All right, next caller. And then at the end of the day, you can only talk about your family. All right. Nobody from the outside can. Right. Period. Yeah, but I, I didn't even say that wrong. Yeah. What I'm saying, but at the end of the day, that's just right. Okay. Y'all crazy as hell. Y'all <laughs> just don't want to know the truth. <laughs> All right, let's do the caller. All right. Call the eight six eight four to win the Supreme Court after show with your just men. No, get your own seven. motherfucking plan. Don't ask me to get no plan. Go no no get yours. <laughs> Go ahead, call her one minute. Hello? Hello? Go ahead, call you up. Hello? 
Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> What's up, babe? Yeah. Oh, this a tray. Hey, this a tray. <laughs> Hi, tray. Is this a tray. Oh, hello. Hey. What's up, babe? Okay, look here. Okay, wait, hold on. I feel like, honey, they, somebody gonna get the money. Retha in heaven. She up there, cook, listen, Retha up there making pig's feet. <laughs> My mama, okay. My mama doing pretty. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, my mama's That's doing. Well. My mother's doing well. Nephew, you say your mommy is. Yeah, she's doing well too. My mom is, is doing well. She's. I'm. She's That's doing good. well. Yes, thank you for the well, that's good. This wig need to. Oh, no problem. Y'all look good. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Uh, Nephi is in a great mood. She's in. Y'all, she's having a good time. Listen, you can't be around me and not be in no good mood. Bitch, be laughing. Eat this. 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 Eat Pure entertainment. Listen, we that Rita up there making she up there making pig's feet, girl, and waiting on Patty to get there and so they can slice that pie around right there. Y'all shouldn't even take yourself serious. Y'all taking yourself serious, you shouldn't. That's right. All right. Laugh, smile, next enjoy call. your life. Next call. Right, next call is six zero six six. The Queen Supreme Court after show, which I just She's a straight Sagittarius mode. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment? That's a New Yorker on the phone. Gotta be. Hold up, What's up, man? It's your boy Brian from Augusta. I just wanted to say that I love you and him. You and Nancy. And I just wanted to say, what's the name? Hello. 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 Can you sing us a song? Thank you. Can you sing? I can, I can. Can you hear a little bit of Rita's for me? Give me something, Rita, you know. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Come on. You're going to put me on a damn spot. Right on the spot. You sound so much like a woman. I know you can sound like Rita. <laughs> well, thank you. I can't sing right now. I'm, I'm in my damn beard. I want you to do, I want you to do, I want you to say, I want you to say, giving them something he can feel, because the way that voice is over that phone, I know you give them boys on that chat line something they can feel Ooh. all the time, girl. <laughs> I can't feel. You can't. I can't feel, You can't, can't whisper feel. it like, many say, I can't you know, I'm not you know just where I'm coming I love you guys. From. I love you too, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But you will see. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. My love, I shouldn't break you, my love. Well, I don't want to get a life. Everyone seems so uptight. We got that. Not that long. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my God. Hello. Really? Hello. Hey. It's me, Timothy White Jenner. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. yes. This is, these, these, these are the girls tonight. <laughs> I want to say one thing. This is why I'm Jackson from Dallas. I hey. want to say that you are everything. Thank you. Everything. Thank you, baby. We are fire to you. And I want to say, oh, you're going to work the time to me. Oh, my God. Because you. Timothy White Jetta. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Good <laughs> 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 oh, Lord. Okay. You better give me. You better give me alto soprano and motherfucking what was that, Craig? I don't know. This. I know. Tenor oh. and tenor. Ah, oh, Jamel, you a mess. Thank you, caller. I love you too, baby. I love you. I love you, baby. Girl, them oxtails was good. Girl. They were. Girl, I like listen. it with the peas. I ain't gonna be able to take no. I listen. I, I ain't gonna be able to. I gotta suck it tonight. I can't let it go in. Oh my it's god! It's gonna be covered. It's gonna be covered in grits. Covered in grits. <laughs> Cheese grill. Brown gravy. Hey, Travis. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your just know tonight's pleasure? Hello? Yeah, I just want to know why this product was so Oh, come on. She said she not. She said she said she. She said she's not answering it no more, baby. She said y'all got to post about it on y'all page to see. That's <laughs> what she said. Don't argue with yourself. That was she All right, said. next caller, call caller 3350. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show. With Judge Gibbs, Madison, and special guest, Nephew. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's pleasure? Hi, Maddie. Hi, baby. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Hi, baby. This is Courtry from Chicago. Courtry, what's up, baby? You know, listen, Courtry, save me some. <laughs> Courtry, save me some of them oxtails up there, motherfucking, in, in Chicago. You know I love Chi-Town. Listen, oxtails and grits sounded good to me. And it was so good. <laughs> and see, Courtry, let me tell you something. You one of the girls that got that kind of money to, to do something like that. See, see. My caterer came through. Head, honey. Oh, baby, you got that kind of money because I've seen you throw an old nasty event, honey, where the plates were about $150, $200 a plate. You got that kind of money. So you thank need to you, holler. Baby. Thank you, thank you. You need to holler at my girl. Tonight. I was thoroughly entertained by Nancy tonight. <laughs> oh, okay. thank you. Thoroughly entertained. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, <laughs> here's the like, thing. Every, you're awesome, honey. I, I get you. I hear you. I receive it all. <laughs> but I think you did a phenomenal job. I hope Maddie has you back. Oh, I love oh, Nephi Child. You. Listen, yes. <laughs> Courtney, but this is the thing. Everybody that comes and sit next to me on the bench has brings their own personality. They bring their own style. They bring their own they bring their own persona. I'm not going to censor anybody, you know? Like, if she feels that she wants to talk about this stuff, like, because there are times that I may explode and want to talk about some shit. Like, this is her personality. This is who she is. Like, she can't be the guest before. The guest before can't be the guest before that. I love the flavor, the spunk, and all the, the, Thank the, you. the craziness that she brought. <laughs> I love all of that that she brought to the show, honey. Thank I liked you. it. And she brought conversation, her view... This show is not to be taken serious, girl. This is not, no, bitch, our, our word is law, but it ain't law like that, girl. We have a good time here Absolutely. on the show. Yeah, and, and what people don't understand is that at the end of the day, you guys are watching this for a reason. The people are watching this for a reason. It's the people's choice. Like, you are, like you really gonna sit behind a, the, the, the laptop, the uh, 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 iPad. Uh, iPad, the phones, and 
take this stuff really serious. You can't. Girl. Like you can't take this stuff serious. Like seriously, you might as well stay off the blog sites. Stay off of Instagram, stay off of Twitter, stay off of Facebook because none of this stuff is what you think it is. And stay off of Jack, Grinder, Scruff, and BGC, Adam yeah, for Adam. Like, come on. And definitely stay off Christian Mingle because ain't none of them niggas on there say they all got stank ass pullbacks. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sick of me, y'all niggas on Christian Mingle with them stank pullbacks. And Nessie, I agree 100%. With what you said about Aretha Franklin and and that will, she's got four kids. We don't know how she raised them kids. We don't know what she left them personally. Like, I I don't think it's a big deal for them. That, no, because that, that if it was a, a will, listen, if it was a big deal, the blogs would not be talking. Her family would be talking. A spectator would not Absolutely. be talking. Her family would be talking. Like. Y'all, like, people take this stuff to the limit, and it's not even really that serious. I'm going to need y'all to step into real life and stop living in a fairy tale land, okay? A fairy tale land? I'm going to need y'all to know that you not Cinderella nor the princess and the frog or uh, whoever else you want to be. Beauty so, and the baby. So you ain't never kissed the frog and he turned into a prince? I'm divorced from one. What are you talking about? Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get up. I think I need a drink. I'm sorry. Sorry. Listen, I'm going to need y'all to quit taking this stuff serious, man. Get into this beat, though. <laughs> get into this Get into this hair, though. Get into these teeth, though. Ew. <laughs> well, listen. I, well, what I do... But, Courtney... Courtry, but what I do know, I'ma tell you. I'ma tell you what I do know, Courtry. I do know she didn't call Patty to sing at her funeral. I know that. No, she didn't do that. Now I know that that they told a lie. They told a whole lie. Oh. And that's the law. Oh, I almost did my ass. Off. Like, you didn't do it. Okay. You know, I got enough answers in this Thank you, Courtney. I love you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had too many good and, 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 and one last thing. I, I really understand what she was saying about oh. her sister. Because I've I got a shady relationship with my sister, too. I throw shade at her all the time. She throws it at me. It don't mean we don't love each other. It just means we keep it all the way real. All right. All right. Well, here's my thing, and just for the record, Absolutely. just for the record, let me say this. Oh, somebody call me a gutter snipe. That's fine. You Girl, know, listen, they, they call, take one to no one. Call me listen. a gutter snipe, bitch. It's six hundred dollars to call me that in person. Listen, here's my thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need you guys to stop thinking that we are against each other because we're not. We just talk about what y'all don't want to talk about. It's in y'all mind, but y'all don't want to speak it. Never am pregnant. So am I. Oh. Congratulations. Girl. I I'm, thought it was I'm, me. I'm pregnant, pregnantly about to get this check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm pregnant on. All right. All right. Yeah. Next call, honey. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap this up, Jamel. All right. All right, call her 8085. And I look like my breast stick, but you must then brush your teeth. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment? Where you calling? Hey, baby, baby. What's up, babe? Hey, baby. Uh-oh. Hey, baby. What's up, baby? I just called to say cold. Man, I'm going to say cold. Don't be worried about these people because the same people that's calling judging you are the same people on Twitter and Facebook saying Keisha at the Grammy selling fish plate. So, uh, <laughs> now Keisha was not at the Grammy selling no damn fish plate. I've never seen her do that. She ever. was not selling no fish plate. Now she did have a catered truck out there, but she had a slew of uh, she had a slew of motherfucking. Food trucks out there, bitch, that had her album cover on the side, bitch, and everybody with the line was wrapped around the corner, bitch, and she was out there selling plates. She made a whole a million dollars on the outside. No, I have to disagree, baby. Ooh. No. I said if. No, ain't no if. 
She made that. She made that money, but it had nothing to do with no motherfucking food. Trust. I'm gonna need y'all to quit coming at my sister like that. That's though. right. I'm gonna need y'all to slow down on that shit though. For real though. Like fall back. Straight like that. <clears throat> and good luck if you thought I was gonna go against it. Fall back. Straight like that. Let us live one time. You motherfuckers hating on me and my family so much. Y'all, y'all so motherfucking mad that the comeback is real. That's why y'all commenting. That's why y'all calling in. Because y'all mad. Stay mad. Fuck you mean. Anyway, you want an Altoid? It wasn't a... <laughs> <laughs> you, want a you want an Altoid? <laughs> you want an Altoid? <laughs> Oh, I love you, T.S. Maddie. I will be back. Jamel, one last call and then we gone, bitch. One last call. Hey, girl, say one last call. Hey, how you doing, Maddie? Ooh, your voice sound good. I'm doing fine now. I'm about to have a wet dream. Nephew, he say, how you doing? You look beautiful. Thank you. You're looking gorgeous, man. Oh. Keep up oh, good work. Okay. Thank you. Hey, guys, I'm calling out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yeah. Ooh, oh, Baton Rouge. Come on, boo. I like the boo, honey. Okay, I want to go ahead and say this. Nephew, I've been watching the live all night, and I want to say I agree with you about the whole Aretha Franklin thing because I personally feel that because she knew her health condition, you know what I'm saying, she gave her son this and that, and I feel like the 80 million that, like you said, that's being reported by the blogs or whatever, I feel like that's one that she wanted to give back, give back to charity. But I feel like her sons are straight. She gave them money already. She put that in a bank account, Nancy. So I totally agree with you on that. A lot of people don't know what's going on behind the scenes, you heard me? Most people want to sit up here, they want to make accusations, they think they know these people, who, when in real life, they really don't. They you don't. You know what I'm saying? I was in that situation with my grandpa, when my grandpa passed away this year. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have no will, but because he knew that he was going to be here forever, and he knew that his time, his time, his time was uh, ticking, he gave us what he gave us, and we straight. We don't have to buzz, we don't have to fight, we don't have to figure out who's going to get what, who's going to get this, who's going to get that. What's and that was my right, and nephew, that was my whole point. I respect point. you for that. I respect you for it, nephew. And Thank you. you. Real fuck. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> now listen, please respect me too, baby, because I because <laughs> Rita did not hey, ask hey, Patty hey, to come sign to her funeral. Hey, Maddie, you good in my book, baby? Oh, oh, Thank I'm you, a, baby. I'm on the shade <laughs> room. I made the shade hey, room tonight. No project, baby. Thank you, baby. Love, what am I, I on the shade room for? I love you too. Say what? What am I on the I love, love you. Good work, y'all. Have a good night. All right, baby. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been our after show. We done had a good time. <laughs> Listen, we need our sponsor to come over here and tell us about these plates on the way out. Jamel, thank you for taking the calls, baby. And I'll talk with you in just a moment. Thank you. Okay. All right, tell us about this. Tell us about it before we go. I got visitors. You got oh, visitors? You got visitors? <laughs> um, well, I'm Phenomenal Food Catering by Chef Holly, located at 10894 Forest Parkway. Tonight we had um, oxtails and kale salad and, and, and macaroni and cheese and peas and rice and <laughs> collard green spring rolls. <laughs> and she wants so This is my illustrious sous chef. Yes. Lynette. Yes. Hi, that, guys. Um, Hi, Lynette. Hi, Blue. So. Thank you. <laughs> It was wonderful being here tonight. Can't wait You'll, be back. Back. You'll be back. Oh, yeah, definitely You'll definitely be back. You'll be back because Dineva's coming back September oh God, yes. September 17th. Funky Dineva will be back. I'll be here. Okay. Yes. Yes. I really enjoyed you guys. You did? And this, I did. I did. <laughs> and I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed this food. Please come and join us. All right. All right. All right, guys. It was fun. Tell a friend, bitch. We'll be back next week. Yes, and guess what? I will be back. Yes, she Stay will, soon, honey. Yes. Baby. I will be back. Bye, guys. Bye. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Yeah. Nephew, you ain't, your titties ain't, yeah, well, they, wait, they do a song. Look, my titties ain't that big, though. Nephew, let me tell you something. You got a fine ass, you got a fine ass sound <laughs> over there. 
I want to turn it off, but I want them to see your style. He's so fine. This one here? Oh, he is. Who is that a pilot like that? He's fine. You don't want to introduce him to the people? I am always try to do, but he like being behind the scenes. He do not like camera. You don't like the camera? I'm finna go over there and sit on his lap. Somebody stop this thing. Oh, wait, so David here. All right, y'all. Good night. <laughs>